Before we dive into the episode, I want to give a big thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. I'll explain more about why NordVPN is such an important service later in the video, but for those of you who already know, check out my link in the description and use code AUDITTHEAUDIT to get 70% off at $3.49 a month plus one additional month free right now. Welcome to Audit the Audit, where we sort out the who and what and the right and wrong of police interactions. This episode covers public buildings, the First Amendment, and trespassing, and is brought to us by Record America's channel. Be sure to check out the description below and give them the credit that they deserve. Let's dive right in and audit the audit. On January 2nd, 2020, YouTuber Record America was conducting a First Amendment audit at the Seattle City Lights North Service. Center in Seattle, Washington, where she was contacted by Officer White of the Phoenix Protective Corp, which is a contracted security agency for the building. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Uh, what is the reason that you're video recording and taking images? Why? Yeah, why? Why do you want to know? I'm security. So? People are not allowed to video record this site. This? Unless you have a site of building? Nope. Well, what, what do I get security permission? Reasons. What security? Security reasons for a site. Where do I get permission then? I wouldn't be able to tell you. Well, if I need permission, you should know where I get permission then. No, you need to, you need to call somebody, okay? Look on the website. Mm -hmm. You need to get in contact with somebody from media. From the, but I'm not media. Then what are you? Where are you from? I'm a person, a member of the public. Members of the public are not allowed to video, record, or take images of our property without express permission. What's your name? My name is Officer White. So, Officer White, what is saying that here? Because there is nothing saying that I cannot record inside. There's nothing to say that you can either. Again, you have to have express permission. Here, Officer White admits that there are no signs which prohibit recording inside the building, but also asserts the notion that because there are no visible signs which authorize recording in the public areas, it should be assumed that recording is prohibited. Officer White's logic is counter to the fundamental principles of the First Amendment and freedom of the press, and is not supported by any legal precedent. A major design element of the First Amendment is to craft a society where the public is free to exercise their right to free speech and freedom of the press and not require the permission of a government entity to reasonably exercise those rights in public. And you that guys the need to post security. if I cannot No, we do not. This here. is private property. It's private property? Yes, this is private property. But it says Seattle, city of Seattle. Yes, this is private property for the city? Seattle City Light. And who owns the Seattle city? The not public? The public. Seattle City Light has a deep history stretching back to the dawn of mass electricity in the late 1800s, but the Seattle City Council officially founded Seattle City Light on April 1, 1910. Since its inception, the publicly owned utility provider has grown into a multi-million dollar organization which provides power to the greater Seattle area. Seattle City Light is owned by the municipality of Seattle and is open to the public. Policy which restrict recording in publicly accessible areas must be supported by a court order or local, state, or federal statutes. I was unable to locate any statutes from either the Seattle Municipal Code or the Revised Code of Washington that would allow Seattle City Light to restrict recording within their public areas. However, considering that this interaction took place at a counter where citizens conduct private business with the city, Washington Code 9.73 .020 states that it is unlawful to record or intercept a private communication. It is possible that Seattle City Light could use that code to establish a no recording policy in that specific area of the North Service Center building, but according to the Seattle City Light website, there is no specific policy regarding recording within the publicly accessible areas of their facilities. Oh no. This so, is private property. So you're saying that I cannot stay here? No. Well, you cannot video record on this property. This is private property. Can you show me a law saying that? If you show me a law, I will leave. No, you need to leave. I am asking you nicely to leave. I'm if not you leave. do not leave, well, you are trespassing on private property. But why? This is private property. Thank you.
According to the original video, this unidentified man is a public official who works at the Seattle City Light Building. No, it's I not. Am, it's the city of Seattle. Don't lie to her. I am not property? lying. This is a private city property. This is private property. She's not allowed to be. It's a property of the property. city, and the city is owned by the public. We, yeah. the people. No. It's yeah. private property. Okay. I am asking you nicely. Okay, I am. I have. I have made you aware nicely. I am asking you to leave. This so if I don't leave, what's going on? Sir, I need you to go to your job, please. You don't get to tell me what to do. Yeah, that he is right. I am asking you nicely to leave our property. So you if are, I don't leave, what's going to happen? You are video happen? recording, taking images of this property that is not allowed mm -hmm. on our property. And if I don't leave, what's going to happen? I will call the police. Okay. And I will have them come and remove you from our property. Okay, you can call the police. It's okay. Okay, I will do so. Okay, thank you. Officer White proceeds to call the Seattle Police Department as Record America wanders the building and eventually encounters Officer McElroy and Officer Parton of the Seattle Police Department's North Precinct Patrol. We'll get back to the episode in just a moment, but first I want to tell you a little more about today's sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN secures your internet traffic, encrypts it, and routes it through a remote server to protect your data from anyone trying to view it. Without a VPN, your data is vulnerable to hackers, but with over 5,000 servers in 60 countries, NordVPN offers a secure and expansive network to protect all of your financial information and personal data. NordVPN also allows you to watch and view content not available in your country on streaming platforms and websites such as Netflix and is backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. Save money and protect your data today using code AUDITTHEAUDIT and get 70% off and one month free. Click on the link in my description for more details. Thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Hello. Hi. I'm Officer McElroy. Just letting you know you're being audio and video recorded. Okay? Same. Uh, we got a call. Thank you. Uh, we got a call um, from the staff members here. Yeah. Uh, apparently, um, they're concerned about you uh, filming and recording them. Mm -hmm. Which, if you're out here on the sidewalk, that's your right. But as long as you're not inside the business, uh, that's okay. But it's a public business, right? Right, it's a public business, but if you're not there to conduct any type but of business... But I was, and okay. then she called the cops. Okay. Because... Okay, well, that, and that's why we're here. I need to run to get your side of the story, mm -hmm. I'm going to get their side of the story. So All right. just understand, just make sure I understand everything. So you were here to conduct business. Yeah. And then you began recording. Yeah, then she interrupted me uh -huh. before I even started business okay. and called you guys, yeah. Okay. Um. According to Seattle Municipal Code Section 12A.08.040, a person is guilty of trespassing if they knowingly enter or remain unlawfully in a building. Under subsection C, an affirmative defense against this code is that the premises were open to members of the public at the time and the actor complied with all lawful conditions imposed upon the premises. Considering that nothing that Record America did inside the Seattle City Light building was illegal and that the building was open to the public at the time, there is no legal basis for issuing a trespass against her. Officer McElroy repeatedly states that official business is required to enter the public building, but I was unable to locate any statute, policy, or code which can confirm that statement. So, just nothing else happened, that's all that happened? Well, uh, I came, mm -hmm. I wanted to do my stuff, mm -hmm. and she saw me, she started getting upset about it, so she called you guys, and now you guys are here. Okay, so she start, you started recording before she called 911? Oh yeah, okay. yeah, I was recording already. Okay, you don't mind hanging out with her, I'm gonna go yeah. inside and speak with them real quick. Am, am I under arrest, am I being detained? No. No? Okay, so as I would just you... be walking around then. Okay, do you mind if I have your name? Yeah, I might, I don't wanna give my name. Okay, all right then, well, as long as you're not on their property, um, then that's fine, okay? Okay. All right. The, the city of Seattle property. Yes, yeah, city of Seattle property. So I cannot be on the city of Seattle property. If you're not here if to conduct business. If you to leave, yeah. Yeah, even though here. I had business. You had business, but you no longer have business, Yeah, correct? so, okay. Am, am I correct? I mean, I'm, just, I'm asking you. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I did already what I needed to do. Okay, I just, well then that's fine. I, I just think it's weird that she will ask me to leave when I'm doing stuff, you know, in a public 
building for public business right. that should be serving the public and not kicking them out. But okay. Okay, but you did do the business. Yeah, I did what I needed to do. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Good thank enough. you. All right. Yep. Thank you. Officer McElroy goes into the building to speak with Officer White, and after waiting around for several minutes, Officer Parton offers her card to Record America and allows her to leave the scene without further incident. Record America was not trespassed from the property during the interaction, and none of her personal information was collected by the officers. Record America returned to the North Service Center the following day, accompanied by two other auditors, and encountered Officer or white for a second time with different results. My review of that interaction will debut on my Patreon channel very soon. You can find a link to my Patreon channel in the description below. Overall, Officer White gets an F for displaying a fundamental misunderstanding of the rights protected under the First Amendment and the concept of a publicly owned entity, as well as attempting to enforce legally baseless and likely non-existent policies. Officer White's misunderstanding understanding of basic legal concepts highlights the importance of rigorous legal training within the police academy curriculum. The extent of Officer White's legal background and police training remain unknown, but anyone charged with the authority to protect others, maintain the peace, and enforce laws should be well versed in the public liberties associated with that authority. Ultimately, Officer White initiated a fruitless interaction with no discernible legal basis for doing so. Record America gets an A for remaining calm, peacefully exercising her rights, and not allowing Officer White to intimidate her into submission. Record America was very informed, articulate, and collected throughout the entire interaction and wielded her rights effectively and responsibly. Record America's mini documentary style of auditing is refreshing within the auditing community, and I highly recommend checking out her channel. Also, be sure to check out Cameras Every everywhere who joins Record America in part two. Record America did a fantastic job during this encounter and I commend her for her composed demeanor and unique style. Officer McElroy and Officer Parton get an A- minus because although they both seemed somewhat unclear on the right to film in public, both of the officers were polite, attentive, and professional. The officers did not compel Record America to surrender her identification, attempt to detain her, or issue her a trust pass from the property. I commend both Officer McElroy and Officer Parton for their courtesy and professionalism. The unidentified public official who corrected Officer White gets an A plus for being an outstanding citizen. Let us know if there's an interaction or legal topic you would like us to cover in the comments below. Be sure to check out our Patreon for ad-free, uncensored, and exclusive episodes. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more police interaction content. Content.